Hey guys, so it's time to unbox Apple's latest iPhone, the iPhone 8. Oh my god, it's on my table. Uh, but it's not the most exciting iPhone, obviously, to come. We do have the 10 coming next month, but it should tide us over. This is a nice upgrade from the 7 uh, in several areas. So we're going to unbox it here, have a look at the phone and uh, boot it up, see the new iOS 11 uh, with I think uh, some new features as well which could be nice so nice new box gotta say I don't think they've ever used a dark acrylic here uh, so where do we get it open so no need for the knife today and we can just slide it open here or so we have designed by Apple in California and this is the beast this is the beast indeed Apple A11 chip Wow look at that it looks exactly the same as the 7 <laughs> oh but they made a glass back here as you can see now I'm not a fan of glass backs usually but you know we'll keep an open mind here and see how this is it looks pretty shiny gotta say uh, i think you'll be dusting this one off quite a lot but then again you know it looks i like the way that they made it to look a little bit different here i will compare with the iphone 7 plus just so you can see uh, how uh, similar or not similar they look to you uh, we'll just put this to the side for a second see what else you get in the retail box so you can see nice charger here uh, you get your ear pods as well which uh, I think we're not coming with a headphone jack again which is a bit annoying so you can't charge and plug something in uh, but you do have all the adapters etc you know Apple does kit you out and your charging cable so quite a standard affair here nothing too new so let's have a look at the the phone against the iPhone 7 Plus here so you can see I think the only real major difference is the glass back really can't really see anything else no wonder the line wasn't that long you know where I was it's like most people are more interested in the iWatch but you can see you know it's still coming with a very premium design uh, it feels good in the hand you know nice and cold uh, I think it's coming with some underlying improvements to the camera, uh, fast charging as well as wireless charging. So, you know, there are some improvements here and there. Uh, let's just boot it on here for the first time. And this is a new iPhone. So, uh, you know what I've done? I forgot my SIM. And we have to go get it, I think, which is annoying. I bet you can't uh, bypass that annoying thing still. You've probably not fixed it in iOS 11. So you see, you need uh, a new SIM, well, a valid SIM, shall we say, uh, to bypass this. So I'm just going to get one, pause the video, and come back. So I think we can continue now. Uh, we have activated the iPhone. It did take quite a while, actually. Uh, so we can just carry on with the setup process here quite a standard affair I think for those of you who are familiar uh, With the iOS here it does ask you if you want to set up your touch ID and You know the good stuff your Apple ID you can set up later And we can enable location services We'll set that up later. Siri. So we have a true tone display. I think that's a new feature uh, which adjusts the temperature of the screen based upon your uh, environment. We do like the zoom. And we're in. We are in you can see wow so that was a fast animation just to put the screen on the full here 
as you can see this is the interface uh, very standard affair then you know if you got iOS 11 on your uh, iPhone 7 don't think it's going to be too much of a difference here it doesn't actually look even like it's that much faster really I mean it's got some killer like uh, benchmark scores but I mean you can see you know it looks uh, pretty similar here in terms of going into stuff um, so I think the main like uh, improvements will be using the phone like in terms of charging etc and uh, the feel in the back which feels very premium in glass like gotta say uh, but I will be doing some uh, tests of the performance, you know, checking out the camera and seeing how it does compare. I think its main competitor is the Note 8 here. Uh, so we'll definitely be comparing with this. And obviously I'm still going to get the 10 as well when it does come available. I think it's going to come in like a month or so. So the camera looks nice here as you can see. Uh, very detailed. I think uh, you do get pretty much everything you got before, like your portrait mode, etc. Oh, this looks like a bug, maybe. That's weird. So I think iOS 11 does have some uh, bugs still, so you know, do go easy on it. Uh, this is a new feature, I think. You can do some uh, nat natural light stuff and other stuff as well, like stage light, contour light. Wow, some nice stuff here. Uh, so as I said, I'll check out these features when I've got to grips with the phone. Uh, but if you've got any questions or want to see anything, do let me know. Uh, just a quick unboxing of the iPhone 8 Plus. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.